Welcome to this Invalsi teacher training video. This video aims to underline the value of developing listening skills across all levels. According to the national guidelines, the English curriculum is vertically aligned, setting CEFR B2 as the target level at the end of secondary school. The skills students learn at one level will prepare them for higher levels of competence to come. As students progress from level A1 through to B2, we may identify common listening strategies, such as listening for main ideas, listening for specific information, or listening to get the gist of a message. We will be focusing on listening for specific information and important details across all levels, starting from the level A1 and progressing up to level B2. This video offers a series of spoken texts and activities ranging from A1 to B2, sharing the same listening behavior, or namely, listening for specific information and important details. So, what makes a sound file A1, A2, B1 or B2? In order to identify the features of an oral message representative of each level, it's worth referring back to the CEFR descriptors to highlight key words which will help us select suitable sound files consistent with the target level. The Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, or CEFR, is an international standard to describe competence in a foreign language. It was developed by the Council of Europe and is structured on a progressive scale. A, B and C, further developed into sub-stages from level A1, beginner, to C2, proficient user. But are we really familiar with the CEFR? In order to check our knowledge of the framework, we can do an exercise to familiarise with the descriptors from A1 to B2 together. It's very simple. You go through the list of descriptors and assign their corresponding levels. But be careful, there's one red herring. Pause the video and you can now do the familiarization exercise online, clicking on the link below. After doing the familiarization activity, you will surely have noticed that the CEFR is made up of different layers. As a matter of fact, we can identify a grading within it. The text type varies from monologues and simple dialogues with only two speakers to interviews and discussions involving more interlocutors. Also, the speed of delivery may vary from slow and carefully articulated speech to normal speed discourse. Clearly, the degree of complexity changes from simple utterances to complex discourse. The vocabulary ranges from common, everyday words to low-frequency words and the listening strategies develop from recognising words and phrases to picking up main points to understanding details. An important aspect of listening to take into consideration is that when we listen in real life, we generally have an idea about what we're going to hear. 
We are prepared for an interview or a lecture or a talk show. When students do listening activities in class in a foreign language, they may find it hard because of the speed of delivery of unfamiliar words and structures and because quite often they do not know the topic in advance. This is the reason why we're going to introduce some pre-listening activities with the aim of leading into this listening activity, creating expectations and pre-teaching essential basic vocabulary. It's time to listen to the first sound file, which is an A1 level spoken text. The sound file, entitled A New Student, is about a girl answering questions about herself and her family. It contains descriptive, factual, specific information and important details. The specific information and essential details reported in this sound file deal with personal details. So, we're going to start with a brainstorming speaking activity, stimulated by the following question. What questions can you ask a new classmate? Students will probably come up with ideas like What's your name? Where are you from? How old are you? In order to generate interest, we can introduce a dice game. Kids can play and practice questions on personal information. Now you can pause the video and download the materials and the instructions for the game by clicking on the link below. It's now time to listen to the sound file and give students a three-step while listening activity aiming at focusing on the specific information and important details of the spoken text. You can find all the materials with the answer keys by clicking on the links below. We're now going to introduce a follow-up still related to the topic of the sound file. Divide the students into pairs, student A and student B. Each student has two cards, one with information about a famous person and another with missing information about another famous person. Each student has to ask questions to the other student in order to complete the missing information. You can pause the video and click on the links below to download all the materials. Let's now pass to an A2 sound file entitled Yosemite. It contains descriptive, factual, specific information and important details about this American National Park. As we have already stated, in order to facilitate comprehension, a pre-listening phase is necessary. Since students might not be familiar with Yosemite National Park, we're going to ask them a couple of questions. For example, what is a national park? Are there any national parks in Italy? And in other parts of the world? Have you ever visited one? Now that we've introduced the topic in general terms, we can focus on Yosemite National Park by showing the location of the park on a map. Then, in order to restrict the area of our pre-listening work, we're going to watch a video about this American National Park. As some words of the video are the same as the ones of the sound file, we're going to introduce a vocabulary matching activity that you can find by clicking on the link below. Let's now listen to the sound file and support students by suggesting a while listening activity which focuses on information items divided into categories. Numbers, tourist attractions, tourist activities, animals, plants and trees, 
You can pause the video and click on the links below to download the materials. In order to keep on working on other American national parks, we can divide the students into groups and assign each group a different national park. Students are going to use the same categories we've just introduced and consult some websites you can find in the links below. The final outcome will be a presentation or any other digital product. Let's now move on to a B1 sound file entitled My Life So Far. We're going to listen to an English woman who is talking about important events in her life. So the sound file is full of specific information conveyed by the speaker. To break the ice and support students' comprehension, we're going to start by having a brainstorming speaking activity stimulated by these questions. Do you know any foreign teachers living in Italy? What subjects do they teach? Are they happy here in Italy? If students don't know any, we can introduce a pre-listening activity based on an imaginary situation. We're going to tell the class that a new English teacher has just arrived and they have to prepare 10 questions to get to know this new teacher. You can find the materials for these activities by clicking on the links below. It's now time to listen to the sound file and guide students' comprehension by presenting them with a couple of while listening activities in which they have to match years and events and complete a form with the specific information gathered by listening. You can now pause the video and download all the materials by clicking on the links below. You may have noticed that while listening, students have picked up words dealing with the English educational system. For example, secondary school, GCSE, college, university, Erasmus, degree. So, as a follow-up, we can ask them to do some research about this topic. We're going to divide the students into groups and ask each group to search the web to gather information about the different stages and exams. Some useful websites are available by clicking on the links below. In the sound file, the teacher refers to college as the last two years of secondary school after GCSE. In the US, however, college refers to university level studies. As more and more Italian high school students attend a year abroad, often in the US, it might be useful to introduce some vocabulary and concepts about the US educational system. In pairs, students go through a list of keywords referring to the US educational system and look for words and expressions with the same meaning. You can now pause the video and find all the materials for these activities by clicking on the links below. Let's now move on to a B2 sound file entitled New Zealand Cuisine, which is an interview with a world food expert talking about food and cooking styles in New Zealand, the land of the Maori. The sound file contains lots of descriptive, factual, specific information and important details. Very few Italian students will be familiar with New Zealand. So we're going to start by having a brainstorming activity, asking students a general open-ended question. What do you know about New Zealand? We may expect students to provide answers such as Kiwis, All Blacks, Maori, Rugby, Haka, then we can propose a quiz about New Zealand and restrict the area of the class preparatory activities pre-teaching some Maori words 
about the local cuisine, which are in the recorded interview they're going to hear. Hangi, or earth oven. Waka, canoe. Kokihi, a New Zealand spinach. All the materials are available by clicking on the links below. After this preparatory phase, the class is now ready for the listening task and the while listening activities. Students are given a series of statements about the contents of the sound file. They have to decide if these are right or wrong. Then they must expand the information gathered and reconstruct the original information. To conclude the comprehension activities, students listen to the sound file again and take notes. Then we give them a list of utterances which are all part of the interview but are not in the correct order. There's also an extra item, a distractor, that they should not use. Students, in pairs, must reconstruct the right sequence on the basis of their notes. You can find all the materials by clicking on the links below. The listening task may have aroused students' curiosity about different cooking habits and traditions. Taking advantage of this, we can organise an activity that can provide specific vocabulary and let them work on cultural topics related to the language they're learning. We're going to divide the students into six groups and ask each group to search the web to gather information about traditional foods and cooking styles of the English-speaking countries. Scotland Wales England Australia New Zealand The US we may assign each group a country and a link. For each country, students have to identify at least three typical dishes and describe them. The outcome would be a series of PowerPoint presentations to share. You can now pause the video and download the materials necessary to perform all these activities. All the sound files we have presented were used for Invalsi listening comprehension tasks. The testing method which was used across all four levels is short answer questions, which encourages the students to listen selectively to understand specific information and important details mentioned in the sound file and take notes on them. The short answer questions method consists in a series either of open-ended questions or of incomplete statements based on the listening text which students have to answer or complete using a maximum of four words. In some items it is possible to find the expressions give one answer or give two answers. In the first case, there is more than one possible answer, but anyone will do. In the second case, there may be at least two possible answers. Being a test of listening comprehension, we're not testing writing. So the answer is considered correct, even if it is not grammatically correct. Spelling errors are not penalized provided the content is clear. You can pause the video and download the sound files, the tasks and the answer keys for each level by clicking on the links below. Thanks for watching this Invalsi teacher training video. We hope it's been useful to help show how students progress in competence through developing listening strategies from A1 to B2. 
The earlier we start exposing students to authentic materials and focus on specific listening behaviours, the better they will develop across the curriculum as language students.